Hello friends, today we are going to learn the Arduino Tiny Machine Learning Kit. We are going to learn how do we set it up, what are all the facilities available and why someone has to go for this. All these things we will clearly understand in this session and this is an amazing kit. This kit will let you work on tiny ML applications. You can deploy tiny ML on microcontrollers and this is going to be amazing. So this comes out with Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense. So this is the unit that you need to understand more. And I will talk about it. This has got multiple built-in center sensors. And most important point is this is very affordable and this is suitable for beginners, for professionals, for anybody. The entire package gets you four things. One is the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense Light Kit. Second one is the Tiny Machine Learning Shield. And third one is we have a camera here which is OV7675 camera module and we have got a USB micro USB cable so all these are coming along with this package and this is the package that they have given us and I'm going to talk more about this and I will also let you know how do we set it up we need to use Arduino IDE and I will teach you how to set it up what are all the features that are coming alongside this all this will be clearly explained to you in this session stay tuned well, what's so special about Nano 33 BLE Sense? The Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense has got a very tiny form factor and it has got multiple sensors which are also packed alongside it and it can be used to run A using tiny ML and TensorFlow Lite. If you are looking to create your first embedded ML application or you want to use the Bluetooth Low Energy BLE to connect your project to your phone, the best choice is this. This is the most ideal choice that I would tell you right now available in the market. And the most important point that I would like to tell you is the support it has got in terms of available sensors. The Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense is a great choice you can be a beginner, you could be a professional, or you could be a maker. Whenever you want to make anything with the embedded machine learning, this could be the choice for you. And it is built on the NRF52840 microcontroller and runs on ARM Embed OS. The Nano 33 BLE Sense not only features the possibility to connect via BLE, but also it has got a bunch of sensors which are going to be really amazing, which can help you in detecting the color, proximity, motion, temperature, humidity, audio, and many more. You can see that all these sensors, whatever I referred to, are all available here. We have got U-Blocks NINA B306 Bluetooth Low Energy Module in this, and we have got IMU for motion detection. We have got LSM. 9DS1 inertial measurement unit featuring a 3D accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer and this allows you to detect the orientation, motion or vibrations in the project that you are using. The support for Python is really there which is going to be very helpful for you and the omnidirectional digital microphone MP34DT05. This microphone allows you to capture and analyze the sound in the real time and can be used to create a voice interface for your project as well. And remember, all these comes in this simple chip that I'm showing you here. This is the guy who has got everything, whatever I'm talking about. And we've got a proximity and the gesture detection sensor as well. We've got APDS9960 chip, which allows for the measuring digital proximity and the ambient light. Also, we can go ahead with detecting RGB colors and gestures. All these are going to be demonstrated to you shortly. And we've got a barometric pressure sensor, LPS22HP. This picks up the barometric pressure and this helps you in understanding the barometric pressure so easily and that's part of this entire unit. The temperature and humidity detection is also supported in this particular unit and HTS221 capacitive digital sensor measures the relative humidity and temperature and this is very accurate as well. So all these are available in this smallest unit and this is very very suitable for you for going ahead with a wearable kind of application that you are going to build and this is Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense for you. And this comes out with excellent features. Go ahead and try it out. I'm going to show you how do we set it up. How are we going to install the necessary libraries? Uh, and I will also show you how in handling the uh, available built-in examples. You can learn all those and that will be a quick start for you. So welcome to the world of Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense. This is amazing and I'm sure you will love it. Well, you are seeing the way I have connected it. They have given us a USB cable and I have connected one end of the cable to the laptop from where we are getting it connected to the other end to the chip. 
to the board so this is a very simple connection that we are having and the moment you connect it you will get the green led powered up which shows that the device is up and it can be used for programming now what i'm going to do is i'm going to first set up the libraries necessary libraries whatever we need for understanding and to use the available facilities on board and then we will show you the demonstration as well from the arduino ide there are many samples and the exercises which are available inside so i'm going to explore them and i'll teach you how exactly to use all of them in a very simple way shortly it is time for us to go ahead and to use the Arduino IDE for uploading the code. Some sample codes are available which can use the sensors which are available on the Arduino Nano 33 BLE sense board that I have shown you. I have already interfaced the sensor, I mean the board with the laptop through a simple cable and I have shown you that. Now it is time for us to go ahead and install all the necessary libraries and files which I am going to do right now. First up, please open the Arduino IDE, go to tools. In the tools, if you see, there is an option available for board and in that there is something called as board manager. And inside the board manager, you will have to type as I am typing right here. You can type as nano 33 BLE, nano space 33 space BLE sense or something like that you can type full name also is fine. So you can see that immediately it has come. So we are going to install the Arduino Embed OS Nano Boards by Arduino and you can see that it supports Arduino Nano 33 BLE, 33 BLE Sense and RP2040 Connect. So what we have is Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense. Hence I am clicking install. The moment I click install it may take few minutes for me to complete the installation process. So once the installation is done we are all set to go ahead and to use our Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense with ease. So it may take few seconds for us to uh, get it installed. So please have patience until then. So once it is installed, we will be able to find out the board in the list of available boards. That's what we are trying to do right now. So once the installation is done, we will search for it and then we will go for the selection of the boards. And finally, we will go ahead and install the libraries for the sensors which we have got on board. You can see that it's installing. Based on the internet connectivity, it could be a little slow or fast. So nevertheless, we have to wait. You can see that it is asking me to give certain permissions. I need to give yes and I have no options. So the installation is complete. Now it is better to close it once and then to reopen it. So close the entire Arduino IDE. You can open it again. You can reopen it. You can see that I am going to reopen it. So once it is reopened, we need to follow the same procedure where we will have to go to the boards and board manager and then finally we will have to select this board. So you could see now tools, board. Now which board do I want? I need to select the board as Arduino Nano 33 BLE. So this is the one that I want. So it is selected. Now I need to check if it is properly selected. Yes, selected. I need to check if port, COM port is properly available. So the COM3 is properly made available. Now what is the next step to go? We have selected the board. We have got the COM port properly selected. The next step is to go ahead and to install the necessary libraries. We are going to install the libraries now. So manage libraries option under tools have to be selected has to be selected. And in that you have to type one after another. We are going to first install the library for APDS9960 color sensor. APDS9960. So this is the sensor. This is the library that we need to install for the color sensor. I have already installed it. You can see that it is showing clearly as installed. So you need to click the button install. When you, when you check for the first time, you will get the button enabled. So there you can install it. The next thing that we need to install is HTS221. It is temperature and humidity sensor. HTS221. So this is also installed. You can see that it is available as installed in front of you. So if you are doing it for the first time, you will get the option enabled for you to install. The next one is going to be the barometer, which is LPS22HB. LPS22HB. So we have to install this as well. So I have already installed that and you can see that you will get all these presented nicely in front of you and you can install it with these. The next one is going to be IMU, which is nothing but LSM, LSM9DS1. 
So this is for IMU which includes the accelerometer, the gyroscope and the magnetometer. So I can see that this one also I have installed. So likewise you have to install the Adafruit PDM and TensorFlow Lite. So all these have to be installed. I repeat, we have to install APDS9960 which I have done which is for color sensor, HTS221 which is temperature and humidity sensor, LPS22HP which is barometer, LSM9DS1, IMU which is nothing but inertial measurement unit which has got accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer and we have got Adafruit PDM which is nothing but the microphone, TensorFlow light has to be installed. So we need to do all these installations after another well since we have done everything we are going to take one example and we are going to see if things are working fine so that's what I'm going to do right now we have set up the libraries and we have installed the necessary things now it is time for us to upload the code here into this board for that to be done we have to connect one end of the end one end of the USB cable to the laptop as you can see here and another end I am connecting it to this board. So once I connect it you can see that there will be an immediate green LED turning on. You can see that immediately the green LED is on which shows that the board is up and running. Now we need to upload the code into this Nano 33 BLE. But for that to be done we have to get this board into the programming mode. Currently it is not in the programming mode. So there is a push button here you can see that I am going to press it twice. One, two. Immediately you can see that the orange LED is glowing, I mean burning and it indicates that we are into the programming mode. So once the programming mode is all set, we can use the examples which are already available and the example code can go into this and with which we can test if things are running fine. I am going to show you that as well right now. Now we are going to take the examples which are already available. I am going to file. Um, before I go into that, let me check if the COM port is all available properly. Go to tools port and you can see that com port is not selected so I have to select that com port 4 correctly so once I do that I am free to go ahead to the next step now I am going to file and I am going to examples inside that examples we have got multiple libraries which we have installed right all those things are reflecting here so you can see that APDS9960, HTS221, LPS22, uh, HP, LSM9DS1. We are going to test this LSM9DS1 and we are going to see if simple accelerometer is working fine. The example code is working fine. I am clicking that and it will open a new sketch which has the example code already written. Now what I am going to do, it is already in the programming mode so I need to compile it. So I am clicking compile button and it may take a while for the compilation to be complete. So now the compilation is on. So it is compiling the sketch. So it may take a little bit of time for the first time, but next time when you try with other examples, it could be a little faster. So we have to have the patience for it and we need to wait and we have no options. Now, once the compilation is done, you can go ahead with uploading the code. It is not yet done. We have to wait and we need to see if we get any error messages. Most of the time, if you get error messages, it could be because of the COM port uh, and you need to select the right COM port which is listed. Now the compilation is done. Now I'm going to upload the code. I'm clicking upload and it is getting uploaded. And once it is uploaded, we have got a small trick to be done, which I will show. You need to unplug the USB cable once and then you need to connect it. After the uploading is all done, for it to be effective, for the code to be effective, for it to be tested, you have to do that. So I'm going to show that as well. Now the uploading is happening, almost it is done. So once it is complete, we will go ahead with the next step which will be clearly visible as well. It will be easy to understand. So you can see that done uploading has come now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just unplug this once and then I'm going to connect it again. So can we unplug it once and then connect it again? So I am unplugging it and I am just connecting it again. And now we can see if we are getting the results. So I am going to open the serial monitor and you can see that the results are coming. You can see that. So I am moving it accordingly. The results are varying and this is simple, isn't it? So it is very easy for you to test. Go ahead, test it. There are multiple examples which are available. So you can test all of them and this is an amazing board. If you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. So I will be very happy to answer. And in case you have any suggestions, type that as well. I'll be happy to take it up. If you like the channel, the content, kindly subscribe. Thank you.